Welcome to another beginner-friendly Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how you can make your logo or your icon look more interesting and give it a nice grainy vintage kind of glow. We first start with our logo. Um, it works very good if you put your bright color logo on black background because then you can really see the glow effect. In our case, I took this E logo from me and put it on the black background and I gave it my typically neon yellow color. Uh, what we first need to do is we can just duplicate our logo and with this logo we go on filter, we go on blur, Gaussian blur and we give it kind of like a a shine in this case I think 30 should be good what we also do uh, is to overlay or let's say vivid light and we duplicate this layer again we can play around with this functions maybe something like this to make it give it a nice cool glow and we can also move it a bit and for the first layer to make this edges a bit less sharp we go to effects and give it an outer glow in this case also of course make sure that you choose the same color as you have with your logo we go a bit down with the size maybe something like this maybe playing with the opacity but I think this is fine and when you have all the logos you can also individual try out some opacity and now we let our magic happen. We click on our very first layer, create a new layer. We go on our background color and choose a 50% gray. Press OK. And now what we do is to press Control and Backshift on our keyboard. Like holding Control, pressing Backshift and it automatically fills our layer with the background color. Um, we choose the 50% gray because when we go and... Uh, 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 yeah, we go on soft light, it kind of disappears because uh, yeah, the gray doesn't show up, but we see white and black. And now we made our layer invisible we go to filter, still with our layer selected, with our gray layer selected, and we want some noise and add noise. And now you can see the noise is visible on this. And we play around a bit with the amount. It's up to you what you like. I think this is a bit too much, but something like this. 20, 20 ish looks cool. And we click OK. And we can also go and click on another layer and make the same again. Soft light, filter, noise, add noise, and we can play around with the amount. Maybe also. Try to move it a bit. Maybe we can also go on the very first layer and give it also kind of like a um, maybe a motion blur in some direction. Okay, this looks a bit too harsh. Yeah, but I think you can, you got the idea what you can do with this effects and now you have a very nice interesting glow on your logo 
If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put it down in the comments or text me on Instagram. And I would love to see your support with your likes or subscription. It helps me a lot. And thank you for your attention.